What's going on guys? Bob Buster here again at Think Computers and today we're taking a look at a motherboard from Gigabyte. It's their Z68 XP UD4. It's more or less their mainstream Z68 board. Um, so let's just get to the good part, open it up and check out what's inside. Okay, so just like most Gigabyte motherboard boxes, it's littered with ton of stuff. A lot of, you know, the features and everything that comes on the board. Two of the big ones on this board is you get the new Touch BIOS and you have a um, the Ultra Durable 3 technology, which is the two times copper PCB, Japanese solid capacitors, the lower MOSFETs, and the uh, ferrite core choke. That's all part of that Ultra Durable 3 technology. You also get a three year warranty. Um, ton of stuff is just all over this lets you know all the features um, on the back here you get a basically an overview of the board um, you know it goes over a lot of the different technology that's built into the board and everything like that but let's go ahead and open it up and you can see here when you open it up you have all of your accessories so let's get all this stuff out um, here's a big warning about the different sockets um, you have your user's manual that does have your driver's disc in it so user's manual driver's disc you have your intel smart response technology installation guide you have io shield looks like a little dolby home theater sticker you have one a set of two you have four sata cables there is a hdmi to dvi adapter you have a multilingual installation guidebook, and that seems to be about it. Oh, you have your um, SLI bridge. That looks to be about all of the accessories on this board. There's also a Gigabyte sticker, and let's go ahead now and get into the board itself. Taking a look at the board, Gigabyte has gone with an all black design. So you have this gunmetal black PCB, and everything else on the board is either black or like this gunmetal gray right here. Starting at the CPU socket, um, Gigabyte uses a 16-phase VRM design. Up top here, you have your 8-pin CPU power connector. You have a 3-pin um, fan connector. You have your 4-pin CPU fan connector. Now moving over here, you have um, your dual channel memory slots, you have four memory slots up to 32 gigabytes of memory. If we move the board over here, we can see there is another four pin fan connector. You have your 24 pin ATX power supply connector. Now looking at the SATA ports, you have a total of two, four, six, eight SATA ports. Now these six are built into the chipset. So the first four are SATA three gig. These two are SATA six gig. And then you have the Marvel chipset, which has your two SATA 6 gig. Moving down here, you have another four pin fan connector. You have your front panel connectors. You have your TPM connector right here. You have your USB 3.0 header. You have one, two, three USB connectors, internal USB connectors. The red one is the power connector. So what that means is it will power devices like an iPhone, an iPad, a tablet, um, a cell phone when the system is off and it will also power it much much faster than a normal USB connection. Um, you have your comm connection, you have firewire, and you have your front panel audio. Now looking at the expansion slots, um, starting right here, you have your uh, PCI Express X16 slot, you have a PCI Express X8 slot, you have two PCI Express 1X slots, and you have two normal PCI slots. Taking a look at the back of the board here, we're going to start at the left, and we have two USB 2.0 ports. You have your PS2 keyboard and mouse combo port. You have coaxial and um, optical audio out. You have Firewire, another USB port, two eSATA ports right here. One is actually SATA 6 gig, two more USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports, HDMI out, two more USB 2.0 ports, Ethernet port and your seven channel audio. So yeah guys, this is the Z68 XP UD4 motherboard from Gigabyte. And remember, if you like our videos, make sure you subscribe. And if you like this video, hit the like button at the bottom. We'll catch you guys later.